OK, so let's say I've got the curve y equals x squared plus 1. And I want to find the area uh, between the curve and the x-axis between 0 and 2. OK? Now, we've already met integration. OK? Um, now, if you haven't met integration yet, that's perfectly fine. Uh, you can still access this material. But I expect the majority we've met integration already and that will be able to find us the exact area between uh, x is 0 and x is 2. Okay, we can figure out this exact area. However, there are curves and there are um, equations that we cannot integrate, okay, where algebra fails us. And so what we would have to do is we would have to use some form of numerical method in order to estimate the area uh, that I need. And one such way would be to perhaps use uh, rectangles in order to do it. This seems like a perfectly valid way. So let's say I divide this area up into some pieces, okay? And what I do is I look at this point here, and I go along and I make that rectangle there, and then I go up to the curve, I make that rectangle there, and then I go up to the curve, I make that rectangle there, and then I go up to the curve, and I make that rectangle there, okay? And then what I can do is I work, can work out the area of those rectangles and add them all together. So um, I could substitute each of my x values in. So 0, so, well, um, I could substitute in 0, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Then substitute in uh, 0.5, then substitute in uh, 1, and then substitute in 1.5. Okay, into uh, the y values. So I'll get a 1, I'll get 0 0.5 squared, so 0 0.25 plus 1, so 1.25. 1 squared plus 1 is 2. To make sure I get this right, uh, 1.5 uh, squared plus 1, so uh, 3.25. So the total area okay, is going to be uh, 0 0.5 times 1, uh, so 0 0.5, uh, plus uh, 0 0.5 times 1.25, plus 0 0.5 times 2, plus 0 0.5 times 3.25. And that gets me 3.75. And that is an estimate to that area. Now, I didn't have to have uh, the rectangles that round that way. I could, so if I do a similar job here, I could have chosen to go up to 2 and have the boxes overlapping this way instead, up to 1.5. OK, so instead, OK, I'll have x's and y's. Some of these I've already got, so 0 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2. So 0 0.5 I already know, so 1.25, uh, 2, and then 3.25. And we've got 2 squared plus 1, so 5. So I can work out this area. Uh, we'll have 0 0.5 times 1.25 plus uh, 0 0.5 times 3.25 times 3.25 and then 0 0.5 times 5. And so that's 5.75. 
Now, what I can see is that this is a definite overestimate, this is a definite underestimate, and so I know that the exact area is somewhere between 3.75 and 5.75. And I know that if I was to um, instead have more strips, so more rectangles, I will get a better estimate. Okay? So if I had instead chosen to halve those, okay, what will happen is it will minimize the differences that I've got here. Okay, so this would be the situation. Okay. And you can see that already, just by halving each of those strips, I am going to be getting a better estimate. Okay, And so I would be able to calculate a better and better estimate the more and more strips that I use. Okay, So this is a way of estimating an area under a curve just using rectangles. And in the next video, we're going to see how we deal with this using trapeziums.